So if we're talking about <coughs> flexible bronchoscopy, <coughs> what you gotta know is if you don't keep the thing straight, it doesn't it doesn't work. If you let any slack develop in it, you, you can't guide the tip. The tip only goes where you send it when you keep no uh, uh, you keep tension in the cable. You can't have any slack. Got to keep it straight. So I've already placed this superglottic airway. It's an eye gel, and then um, this is a mannequin by uh, Decent Simulators in the UK. And um, we're going to see that the uh, the epiglottis is uh, flopping down just a little bit. I could push the mask in a little bit, but that won't make any difference. I'm going to go under the epiglottis, look at the larynx. And now what I'm going to do to look upwards is use the flexion lever here. Flex up. And I don't have a lot of space to do it, so I won't. I'm going to push the lever forward to look down. Push the lever forward to look down. So sort of like in an airplane where you would push the stick or the yoke forward to make the airplane go down. You push this lever down to make the tip go down. I'm going to fly down to uh, the trachea. And I'm getting to the crina now. That's left main stem bronchus and this is right main stem and you can see I'm kind of turning the handle and I'm flip I'm flexing the scope I'm pulling I'm pushing down on the lever sort of like I'm pulling back on the uh, the the, um, the control stick or the yoke of an airplane to make the, the airplane go up so to do a tracheal intubation through the mask what you would do is you would uh, place the mask make sure it works with uh, CO2 you do an endoscopy to make sure it's lined up on the larynx and they would preload a tracheal tube. Um, and this is uh, almost the identical procedure to actually doing a nasotracheal intubation, by the way. I'm gonna make sure I pulled all the air out of the cuff here where it's gonna be difficult. Okay, that's gonna, f all the air is out. I'm gonna put this into about 16 centimeters, not very deep. I don't want it to come out of the supraglottic airway, the eye gel, until time comes. I'm gonna go ahead and place this now and pass the, um, distal uh, hole of the tracheal tube and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push forward, push up on the lever to look down, fly down to the carina, and then I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to give the roll on the power and give the tube a leftward twist as I place it. The awkward part of this now, of course, is getting the uh, supraglottic airway out over the tracheal tube. I could cover that in another video. Uh, but now you have an intubated patient, you can actually check for tracheal rings as you're pulling back. You can see the tracheal tube. I know I'm above the carina, let's measure it. I pinch my fingers and pull the uh, scope back until I see the tracheal tube. So the distance um, above the carina is the distance between my two fingers, which is about two and a half centimeters, maybe three centimeters, which is okay. Seven and a half tracheal tube through a size four eye gel. Actually, it's a 7.0 tube, sorry. Size 7.0 through size four eye gel. And there you have it. Nice.